Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. And today we have a fascinating topic to dive into. We're going to explore the nine hidden struggles Sigma empaths face in life. If you're an empath or you know someone who is, this video is definitely for you. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is a Sigma empath? Great question. In the world of personality types, a Sigma empath is someone who not only deeply feels and understands the emotions of others, but also values their independence and prefers to march to the beat of their own drum. Unlike traditional empaths who might seek social validation or external connections, Sigma empaths thrive in their solitude and often carve out their own unique path in life. But here's the thing, despite their seemingly strong and independent exterior, Sigma empaths face a host of hidden struggles that many people aren't aware of. These aren't just minor inconveniences. They can significantly impact their emotional and mental well-being. And that's exactly what we're going to uncover today. From feeling misunderstood to balancing their empathy with their need for solitude, these hidden challenges are something only a few truly understand. So, if you've ever felt like no one really gets you, or if you're curious about the unique challenges faced by Sigma empaths, stick around. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Struggle one feeling misunderstood. Alright, let's jump into the first hidden struggle, feeling misunderstood. For Sigma empaths, this, this is a big one. Imagine being in a room full of people and still feeling like an outsider. That's often the reality for Sigma empaths. Their unique blend of deep empathy and strong independence can make them seem aloof or hard to read to others. Let's say you're at a party. Everyone's chatting, laughing and sharing stories. But you, as a Sigma empath, are picking up on all the subtle emotional cues around you, the underlying tension between a couple and the quiet sadness of someone who's putting on a brave face. While you're absorbing all this, others might see you as distant or uninterested because you're not engaging in the same way they are. And, or consider a work meeting where you're the one who suggests a different approach to a problem, something unconventional that others might not immediately understand. Your ideas, shaped by your unique perspective and deep insights, really can be met with confusion or even skepticism. People might think you're overcomplicating things or not being practical simply because they don't see the world the way you do. These misunderstandings can be emotionally draining. When you're constantly perceived as different or hard to understand, it's easy to feel isolated. Over time, this can lead to self-doubt and loneliness. You might start questioning if there's something wrong with you, even though the truth is you're just wired differently. But remember, being a Sigma empath means you have a unique gift, the ability to deeply connect, connect with and understand others on a level that many can't. It's not about fitting into a mold. It's about embracing your distinct nature and finding the right people who appreciate and understand your depth. And that's a journey worth taking. Struggle to balancing empathy with independence. Now let's delve into the second hidden struggle balancing empathy with independence. Picture this, you're a Sigma empath, deeply attuned to the emotions of those around you, but you also cherish your independence fiercely. It's like having two sides constantly at odds within yourself. On one hand, you have this innate ability to understand and empathize with others on a profound level. You can sense their pain, their joy, their fears, almost as if you're experiencing it yourself. This makes your wonderful friend a compassionate listener, deep someone others can rely on in times of need. But on the other hand, you value your independence immensely. You crave solitude, moments of quiet reflection, where you can recharge and reconnect with yourself. You're not one to conform to societal norms or expectations you prefer to chart your own course in life. They did by your intuition and inner compass. Now, imagine the tension that arises when these two aspects of your personality clash. In relationships and social settings, you might find yourself torn between wanting to help and support others wholeheartedly and needing space to preserve your own emotional well-being. It's a delicate balancing act, one that requires constant self-awareness and boundary setting. Because while you want to be there for others, you also recognize the importance of taking care of yourself. And that's where your coping mechanisms come into play. 
Whether it's setting aside time for solitude, practicing mindfulness techniques, or surrounding yourself with supportive individuals who understand and respect your need for independence, these coping mechanisms help you navigate the complex dance between empathy and autonomy. So, if you ever find yourself struggling to strike that balance between empathy and independence, remember that it's okay to prioritize your own needs. Embrace your unique blend of compassion and self-sufficiency and honor the beautiful complexity of being a Sigma empath. Struggle 3 Emotional Overload Now, let's explore the third hidden struggle emotional overload. As a Sigma empath, your empathy isn't just a passive trait. It's like having a sponge for emotions, now soaking up every ripple in the emotional atmosphere around you. While this heightened sensitivity allows you to deeply connect with others, it also leaves you vulnerable to emotional overwhelm. Imagine walking into a crowded room and instantly feeling a wave of emotions crashing over you happiness, sadness, anxiety, all swirling together in a chaotic symphony. It's not just your own emotions you're experiencing. It's as if you're carrying the emotional baggage of everyone else in the room. And in moments of crisis or intense emotional turmoil, this burden becomes even heavier. You might find yourself absorbing the pain and suffering of others to such an extent that it feels like drowning in a sea of emotions, struggling to keep your head above water. But fear not, because Sigma empaths have developed a toolkit of techniques to manage this emotional overload. One such technique is the art of grounding, bringing yourself back to the present moment by focusing on your senses, whether it's taking deep breaths, feeling the texture of an object, or listening to calming sounds. Another invaluable strategy is setting energetic boundaries, recognizing when it's necessary to protect your own emotional well-being by creating a shield between yourself and the emotions of others. This might involve visualizations, affirmations, affirmations, or simply asserting your need for space when you feel overwhelmed. And let's not forget the power of self-care, prioritizing activities that nourish your soul and replenish your emotional reserves. Whether it's spending time in nature, indulging in creative pursuits, or seeking support from loved ones, self-care is essential for maintaining balance in the face of emotional overwhelm. So, the next time you find yourself grappling with emotional overload, remember that you're not alone. Draw upon these techniques, trust in your resilience, and know that you have the strength to weather any emotional storm that comes your way. Struggle for difficulty in trusting others. Now, let's delve into the fourth hidden struggle, difficulty in trusting others. For Sigma empaths, trust isn't something given lightly, it's earned through lived experiences and deep introspection. But this cautious approach to trust isn't without its challenges. Perhaps you've been hurt in the past, betrayed by someone you trusted wholeheartedly. These experiences leave a mark, instilling a sense of skepticism and wariness towards others. You find yourself building walls, hesitant to let anyone too close for fear of being hurt again. And in the realm of forming new relationships, this difficulty in trusting others can present significant hurdles. Whether it's making friends, entering into romantic partnerships, or even collaborating with colleagues, you find yourself second-guessing others' intentions, being constantly on guard for signs of betrayal or deception. But despite these challenges, Sigma empaths have developed strategies to navigate their trust issues with grace and resilience. They understand that trust is a delicate balance, a dance between vulnerability and discernment. One such strategy is setting boundaries, clearly communicating your needs and expectations in relationships and honoring those boundaries without compromise. By establishing clear parameters, you create a safe space for trust to grow organically. Another key tactic is observing actions over words, paying attention to consistent patterns of behavior rather than relying solely on what people say. Actions speak volumes, and Sigma empaths have a keen eye for authenticity and integrity. And most importantly, Sigma empaths embrace the journey of self-trust, cultivating a deep sense of trust and confidence in themselves. By honoring their intuition, staying true to their values, and learning from past experiences, 
They lay the foundation for genuine connections built on mutual trust and respect. So, if you find yourself grappling with trust issues, know that it's not a sign of weakness, it's a testament to your resilience and wisdom. Trust in your own judgment, surround yourself with those who prove themselves worthy of your trust, and remember that trust, like any worthwhile endeavor, it takes time and effort to cultivate. Struggle 5 Need for Solitude Verse Loneliness Now, let's explore the fifth hidden struggle, the need for solitude vs. Loneliness for Sigma Empath, solitude isn't just a preference, it's a vital lifeline, a sanctuary where they can retreat to recharge and reconnect with themselves. But even amidst the solace of solitude, the specter of loneliness can loom large. Imagine a quiet evening at home, wrapped in the embrace of solitude. You're savoring the tranquility, reveling in the freedom to be alone with your thoughts. This solitude fuels your creativity, your introspection, your sense of self. But then, like a whisper in the dark, loneliness creeps in a nagging feeling of disconnect, an ache for companionship that lingers in the shadows. Despite your preference for solitude, there are moments when you long for meaningful connections, this day for someone who truly understands and appreciates you. And so Sigma empaths find themselves walking a tightrope between the need for solitude and the fear of loneliness. How do they strike a balance between these seemingly contradictory desires? One approach is to cultivate intentional solitude, carving out dedicated time for self-reflection, creative pursuits, and self-care rituals that nourish the soul. By proactively embracing solitude as a source of strength rather than a void to be filled, Sigma empaths can deepen their connection with themselves and find solace in their own company. But they also recognize the importance of meaningful connections with others seeking out like-minded souls who appreciate the beauty of solitude and understand the delicate dance between independence and companionship. So, if you ever find yourself grappling with the tug of war between solitude and loneliness, know that it's okay to embrace both. Find solace in the sanctuary of solitude, but don't hesitate to reach out and nurture meaningful connections with those who enrich your life. It's in the delicate balance between the two that you'll find true fulfillment and belonging. Struggle 6. High Sensitivity to Environments Now, let's explore the sixth hidden struggle high sensitivity to environments. For Sigma empaths, the world isn't just a collection of physical spaces, it's a tapestry of energies, a symphony of sensations that can either uplift or overwhelm. Picture yourself in a crowded, bustling city, the cacophony of honking horns, the hustle and bustle of people rushing by, the relentless assault of noise and chaos. For Sigma empaths, these environments can feel like a sensory overload, leaving them feeling drained and disoriented. But it's not just the physical aspects of their surroundings that impact Sigma empaths, it's also the emotional atmosphere. They're like emotional sponges, absorbing the energies of those around them, whether it's the palpable tension in a heated argument or the contagious joy of a celebration. So, how do Sigma empaths navigate these challenging environments and create conducive spaces for themselves? One strategy seeking out environments that resonate with their soul places of natural beauty, serenity and tranquility where they can recharge and rejuvenate. Whether it's a secluded forest trail, a tranquil beach at sunset or simply a cozy corner of their own home, these spaces offer respite from the sensory overload of the outside world. They also prioritize self-care rituals that soothe the senses and restore balance, whether it's practicing mindfulness, engaging in creative expression, or indulging in sensory experiences like aromatherapy or soothing music. And when they do find themselves in challenging environments, Sigma empaths employ grounding techniques to anchor themselves in the present moment, focusing on their breath, tuning into their senses, and creating energetic boundaries to protect themselves from the overwhelming energies around them. So, if you ever find yourself feeling overwhelmed by your surroundings, remember that you have the power to create environments that nurture your soul and support your well-being. Whether it's seeking solace in nature, practicing self-care rituals, 
that all simply honoring your need for quiet and solitude, trust in your intuition and create spaces that uplift and empower you. Struggle 7 Internalizing Others' Problems now let's uncover the seventh hidden struggle internalizing others' problems. For Sigma empaths, empathy isn't just a skill, it's a double-edged sword. Their ability to deeply connect with others often leads them to take on the emotional burdens of those around them, sometimes to their own detriment. Imagine sitting with a friend who's pouring their heart out to you, sharing their struggles and pain. As a Sigma empath, you're right there with them, feeling every ounce of their sadness, their frustration, their despair. Their problems become your problems, their pain becomes your pain. And it's not just with friends, it can happen with strangers, colleagues, even fictional characters in books or movies. Sigma empaths have this innate ability to step into someone else's shoes and experience the world through their eyes, but it comes at a cost. And the emotional and mental toll of internalizing others' problems can be immense. It's like carrying a backpack filled with stones, each one representing the pain and suffering of those you've encountered along your journey. And as the weight grows heavier, it can weigh heavily on your own well-being. But Sigma empaths are not powerless in the face of this struggle. They understand the importance of setting boundaries, recognizing when it's necessary to step back and prioritize their own emotional health and well-being. They practice compassionate detachment, offering support and empathy without taking on the full weight of others' problems. They understand that while they can offer a listening ear and a shoulder to lean on, they are not responsible for fixing others' problems or carrying their burdens. By establishing clear boundaries and practicing self-care rituals that replenish their emotional reserves, Sigma empaths create a protective shield around themselves, preserving their empathy while safeguarding their own well-being. So, if you ever find yourself overwhelmed by the weight of others' problems, remember that it's okay to set boundaries to prioritize your own emotional health and well-being. You can offer support and empathy without sacrificing your own sanity. By honoring your own needs and practicing self-care, you can continue to be a source of light and compassion in the world without losing yourself in the process. Struggle 8 Perfectionism and Self-Criticism Now, let's unravel the 8th hidden struggle perfectionism and self-criticism. For Sigma empaths, the pursuit of excellence isn't just a goal, it's a relentless quest, a never-ending journey towards an unattainable standard of perfection. Imagine setting high standards for yourself, not just in your work or your relationships, but in every aspect of your life. You strive for excellence, for mastery, for perfection in everything you do. But with that pursuit comes a heavy burden, the weight of self-criticism, the relentless voice of the inner critic, you pour your heart and soul into your endeavors, but no matter how hard you try, it never feels like it's enough. The slightest imperfection, the tiniest mistake, they loom large in your mind, taunting you, reminding you of your perceived shortcomings. And so, you find yourself caught in a vicious cycle of self-criticism and perfectionism, constantly striving for an unattainable standard, but never allowing yourself to truly appreciate your own accomplishments. But Sigma empaths are not powerless in the face of this struggle. They understand the importance of practicing self-compassion, treating themselves with the same kindness and understanding they offer to others. They embrace positive affirmations, cultivating a mindset of self-love and acceptance by consciously challenging their inner critic with affirming statements of worthiness and capability. And, and they prioritize self-care routines that nourish the soul, whether it's practicing mindfulness, engaging in creative expression, or simply take time to rest and recharge. By practicing self-compassion, embracing positive affirmations, and prioritizing self-care, Sigma empaths break free from the shackles of perfectionism and self-criticism, allowing themselves to embrace their inherent worth and value. Struggle 9 Conflict, Avoidance, and Assertiveness Lastly, let's explore the ninth hidden struggle, conflict, avoidance, and assertiveness. For Sigma empaths, harmony isn't just a preference, it's a guiding principle, a north star in their interpersonal interactions. But this aversion to conflict can sometimes come at a cost. 
Imagine finding yourself in a situation where tensions are running high, emotions are boiling over, and conflict seems inevitable. As a Sigma empath, your instinct is to diffuse the situation, to smooth over the rough edges, to restore peace and harmony at any cost. But in your quest to avoid conflict, you sometimes find yourself suppressing your own needs and desires, putting the wants and feelings of others above your own. You struggle to assert yourself to self to speak up for what you truly believe in, for fear of rocking the boat or causing hurt feelings. And so, you find yourself caught in a bind torn between your desire for harmony and your need for assertiveness, between avoiding conflict and standing up for yourself. It's a delicate balance, one that requires finesse and self-awareness. But Sigma empaths are not powerless in the face of this struggle. They understand the importance of healthy communication expressing their needs and boundaries assertively, yet respectfully, without resorting to aggression or passive aggression. They develop skills in conflict resolution, seeking common ground, listening empathetically, and finding mutually beneficial solutions that honor the needs of all parties involved. And they cultivate self-compassion, recognizing that it's okay to prioritize their own well-being and assert their needs, even if it means temporarily disrupting the peace. So, if you ever find yourself struggling to balance your aversion to conflict with your need for assertiveness, remember that healthy communication is key. By cultivating assertiveness, conflict resolution skills, and self-compassion, the Sigma empaths can navigate interpersonal dynamics with grace and integrity, honoring their own needs, while fostering harmony and understanding in their relationships. As we conclude our exploration of the nine hidden struggles faced by Sigma empaths, it's clear that navigating the complexities of life as a Sigma empath is no easy feat. From feeling misunderstood to grappling with internalized self-criticism, each struggle presents its own unique challenges. But amidst these challenges lies incredible strength, resilience, and wisdom. And to all the Sigma empaths watching, I want you to know that you are not alone. Your journey is valid, your struggles are valid, and your experiences matter. Embrace your uniqueness, honor your sensitivity, and trust in your ability to overcome any obstacle that comes your way. If you resonated with any of the struggles discussed in this video, I encourage you to share your experiences in the comments below. Let's create a supportive community where we can learn from each other and offer encouragement and advice. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content on topics related to empathy, self-discovery and personal growth. Together, we can continue to explore the nuances of the Sigma Empath experience and support each other on our journey towards authenticity and fulfillment. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed.